Dear students, now we are going to discuss clippers and its types in detail. Let's start with the definition. It is an electronic circuit in which the waveform is shaped by removing or clipping of a certain portion of the input signal without disturbing the remaining part of the signal. So clippers are the types of wave shaping circuits. We can shape the waveform by removing or clipping of a certain portion of the input signal. It is also called as limiter, amplitude selector or slicer. Clippers are widely used in radars, digital computers, radio and TV receivers. So next the types of clippers. There are four types of clippers available. Positive clipper, negative clipper, biased clipper and combinational clipper. So here each type is further classified into two types that is series positive clipper, shunt positive clipper. Similarly, Series negative clipper and shunt negative clipper. First one is positive clipper. It is a circuit that clips off the positive half cycles of the input signal. Clipper is a very simple circuit which consists of a diode and a resistor. So here the series positive clipper. In this one the diode is connected seriously with the load. Okay. So here. The negative part is connected with the input side. Whenever the input voltage is greater than the zero voltage. That means positive half cycle is given as input. The diode is reverse biased. Correct? During the positive cycle, here positive is connected with this negative. So this symbol is negative. This one is positive. Correct? So whenever positive cycle is given to this diode, Positive negative means reverse biased. If the diode is reverse biased, then it can act as an open switch. Open switch means it does not conduct. There is no output. So during positive half cycle, there is no output in the output side. Okay. So here the positive half cycle does not appear at the output side. That means the positive half cycle is clipped off. So next during the negative half cycle, Negative and negative both are connected. That means the diode is forward biased. Whenever the diode is forward biased, it can act as a short circuit. Short circuit means closed switch. That means the diode conducts the signal. So here the negative half cycle appears at the output side. Finally, we can get only the negative half cycles of the input as a output. It can act as a Half wave rectifiers. Do you all understand this one? Next one is shunt positive clipper. It is a circuit that clips of the negative half cycles of the input signal. Here the diode is connected in parallel to the load. That is called as shunt positive clipper. Do you all understand this one? So here during the positive half cycle. That means whenever the input voltage is greater than or equal to 0 volt. Here this diode is forward biased because positive and positive means forward biased. This diode is acting as a short circuit. If it is short circuit means there is no output. All the inputs are given to this ground. Correct? There is no output at this side. So during the negative half cycle the diode is reverse biased. Reverse biased means it can act as an open switch. There is no current flow through this diode. So all the inputs can be appeared at this output side. So during the negative half cycle, we can get the output as a negative one. Okay. During the positive half cycle, there is no output. That's what given here. Okay. So when the input voltage is less than zero volt, that means during negative half cycle, the diode is reverse biased and acts as an open switch. At that time, the output is simply the input as such. Okay. Next one is negative clipper. It is a circuit that clips off the negative half cycles of the input signal. Series negative clipper. Here the diode is connected in series with the load side. In negative clipper, the positive of the diode is connected with the input side. During the positive half cycle, 
here the diode is forward biased here it is positive here it is positive then it is forward biased so here forward bias means what it conducts the current it can act as a closed switch okay so whatever input is given the same is appeared at the output side correct during the negative half cycle here it is negative here it is positive that means the diode is reverse biased if it is reverse biased it can act as a open switch there is no current conduction that means the output is simply zero we can clip off the negative half cycles that's what given here during positive half cycle the diode is forward biased and acts as a closed switch we can get the output as a input during the negative half cycle the diode is reverse biased and acts as a open switch at that time the output is zero hereby we can clip off the negative half cycles of the input signal so this is the shunt negative clipper shunt negative clipper means here we can connect the diode in parallel with the load okay so here it is connected in this way that means negative is connected to this input side so if it is positive it is negative so it is reverse bias during positive half cycle the diode is reverse biased that means it is acting as a open circuit there is no current flow in this branch so whatever input is given everything will be appeared in this output side during negative half cycle it is minus here it is minus that means diode is a forward biased then it is acting as a short circuit there is no output at this side you will understand this one next one is biased clipper it is used to remove a small portion of the positive or negative half cycle of the input signal based on biasing voltage so in the previous clippers we are entirely clipping off either the positive or the negative half cycles but in this biased clipper we are going to remove a small portion of the positive or negative half cycle okay so based on the biasing voltage here the clipping level can be shifted up or down by varying the bias voltage vb okay sometimes this biasing voltage is represented as the reference voltage okay the first one is biased positive clipper in this we are going to introduce one external supply voltage that is the biasing voltage to this positive clipper okay so in this one during this positive half cycle the diode is reverse biased it does not conduct but this voltage is appeared at the output side so we can get the output as a vb voltage okay so whenever the input voltage is greater than this biasing voltage it can be clipped off do you all understand this concept so here the diode does not conduct as long as the input voltage is greater than the biasing voltage here the output remains at the biasing voltage level whenever the input voltage is less than the biasing voltage the diode conducts and the, all the input signal having less than the, the reference voltage that is also called as biasing voltage and also the negative half cycles appear at the output side so that's what given here this is the biased positive shunt clipper circuit okay next one is biased negative clipper so in this one we are going to introduce one external power supply that is the biasing voltage to this negative clipper circuit so here we have to introduce the negative supply voltage okay minus to plus so in this negative clipper circuit during the positive half cycle the diode is forward biased it simply conducts the signal so we can get the same input as a output okay but during the negative half cycle the diode is reverse biased it does not conduct but this supply voltage provides the output signal okay it maintains the value as minus vb okay if that input voltage is less than or equal to minus vb then the diode does not conduct and the remaining part is clipped off that's what given here 
when the input voltage is less than or equal to minus vb the diode does not conduct and the output is simply the biasing voltage when the input voltage is greater than this minus vb then the diode is conducting the current that means the output is simply the input here we can simply represent it like this the output voltage is equal to minus vb if that input voltage is less than or equal to biasing voltage that means the diode is reverse biased if the input voltage is greater than minus vb then the output is equal to simply the input because the diode is on condition so this is the biased shunt negative clipper circuit for this we can have the condition like this okay so we can get the output as minus vb whenever the input voltage is less than or equal to minus vb that means the diode is on that is diode is forward biased so if it is greater than minus vb then the output is equal to the input diode is reverse biased okay next type is very important one because biased positive clipper with reverse polarity so this is the biased positive clipper in that one we are going to reverse the biasing voltage value that means we are going to provide minus vb okay in this positive clipper at that time we can clip off all the positive side along with some portion of this negative cycle we can get the value only for this minus vb and greater than that value that is given like this whenever the input voltage is less than or equal to the reverse biasing or negative biasing voltage the diode is on that means the output is equal to input whenever the input voltage is greater than this negative biasing voltage diode is off simply opposite to the biased positive clipper because of this reversed polarity okay so at that time we can get the output like this next one is biased negative clipper with reverse polarity of this biasing voltage as i told you for negative biased clipper we have to give negative biasing voltage but here we have to reverse the polarities that means we are going to give plus biasing voltage that is positive biasing voltage so in this one the entire signal below this positive biasing voltage is clipped off so we can get the value like this okay the last type is combination clipper it is the combination of biased positive clipper and a biased negative clipper so here we are going to combine both the biased positive clipper and the biased negative clipper so it can clip off two independent levels of this positive and negative half cycles depending on the biasing voltages vb1 and minus vb2 you will understand this diagram so we are going to clip off two independent levels of this positive side as well as negative side so whenever the input voltage is greater than or equal to the biasing voltage vb1 that is what the positive biased okay then the d1 is on and here d2 is off at that time we can get the output is simply vb1 so whenever this input voltage is less than or equal to this negative biasing voltage that is minus vb2 d1 is off d2 is on that means we can get this clipped off negative signal so whenever the input voltage is between these two biasing voltages then both diodes d1 and d2 are off condition we can get the same input as the output do you all understand this concept